It's a cross between a beeper and a car phone. It's a pocket cellular telephone which Walker Telecommunications has recently introduced to the market. Cellular really grew up in the need for people to communicate on the move and basically uh, this tied one to a vehicle. We really took a look at it and decided that there wasn't much sense to limiting that only to vehicular travel. So we set out to design and develop the world's smallest uh, portable pocket cellular telephone. There are only three portable phones available. The one on the left is put out by Motorola, the one on the right by General Electric. Walker's phone sells for almost $3,300 retail. The others are comparable at plus or minus $100. We have, uh, uh, I think, a more fully featured product. We have such things as 99 number alphanumeric storage. Uh, we are 15 ounces, where the nearest competitor is probably over two pounds. Uh, we are much more convenient. Uh, we feel we can carry our product around in the breast coat pocket, whereas the rest require either a, a clip on the belt or a briefcase uh, to carry the unit around. The phone is a conglomerate of technologies from Switzerland, Japan, Holland, and the U.S. Walker Corporation estimates that the consumer price will drop to about $2,000 in 18 months or so from now. But at present, the demand is there. This will run the gamut from uh, construction people who have uh, large uh, shipments of materials arriving at a construction site to physicians, to lawyers, to stockbrokers, uh, those kinds of people. Uh, we expect that the initial penetration will be in that category, and then, of course, as, as prices come down, we expect penetration down to the consumer level. While many people say the car phone is the way of the future, the cellular communication field says this isn't so, and we can soon begin to see a new gimmick on the market, a phone in a watch. Oh, excuse me, I have a phone call. Hello? Oh, just a minute, please. In Hop Hog, Jamie Schiffman, News 55.